Well, we can tell you that a Calaveras County murder case shocked the nation. An eight year old girl stabbed more than 20 times in her own home. Her 14 year old brother now charged with the crime. Today, his attorney and family asked a judge to release him. I think they're frustrated that his youth is spent behind bars while this gets sorted out. It's been nearly two years since Layla Fowler was murdered, and today her brother's defense attorney argued that there's new evidence. Yeah, Case Area 3's Melinda Mesa is live for us at the Calaveras County Courthouse with the latest on the case surrounding Layla's death. Well, it's an unfortunate incident all around, but the family was here today and the Fowler attorney was here today asking the judge to release that boy. They say there is new evidence, but the judge denied that request. So I disagree with the court. I think there's a change of circumstances and it's um, powerful evidence. Attorney Steve Plesser says his 14 year old client is innocent and he wants the court to look closer at new DNA evidence. The brother of eight year old Layla Fowler was arrested nearly two years ago for her murder. He has been in juvenile hall since. And I think it's an inappropriate place to house a young person in the prime of their youth for that long of a time period. Today, the Fowler family packed into the courthouse hoping for his relief, but the judge denied the motion. Yeah, I'm disappointed, but you know, it's out of our hands right now. Oh. The court um, implied that there was nothing in here new that wasn't before the court at the time of initial detention. But the defense team says there is new evidence from the Department of Justice that shows there was an intruder, there was unknown DNA evidence found on her body, and that what was thought to be the murder weapon does not match her wounds. In court, prosecutors argued that there was blood on a shirt the boy was wearing. Small amount of blood on the back of a shirt that belongs to him that isn't hidden, that's in plain view, and doesn't look like blood spatter evidence. The prosecution also told the judge the boy had problems before his arrest and he had threatened to stab someone at his school. He's never been violent at school. I don't know what they're talking about. He lives in a small rural town. One day at gym class, a pocket knife fell out of his PE out of his PE shorts in class. He got in trouble for it. And today in court, the prosecutors told the judge that the boy is exactly where he should be. Now, we did try calling the DA. She did not return our calls. She did not talk on camera today. Now, the boy's attorneys are asking that if he is released, that he's placed with his stepmother's parents who live in Stockton. That's the latest here in Calaveras County. I'm Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News.